Hey guys, today I'm doing a golden summer look. I'm starting off with the CoverGirl and Early Simply Ages Primer all over my face. It's got a moisturizer and a primer in one, so it's really, really great for on the go. Now I'm applying the Kryolan Liquid Foundation in NB1, which is a light pink based foundation. I'm applying that all over the face with my flat top um, synthetic kabuki brush by Sigma. Now this foundation's really got quite a good coverage and it's really buildable as well, so I highly recommend it. Next I'm applying Benefits Erase Paste to conceal dark circles and um, any blue veins and things around my eyes. And I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush, I think it is. Now I'm applying MAC Brulee um, over the top of where I applied the concealer. I find it helps cover up any blueness that the concealer didn't do. Now I'm applying Napoleon Purtis Camera Finish Powder Foundation in Look 2 all over my face and applying NARS Laguna Bronzer to contour as well. Now as it's summer here in Australia, I can get away with having a bit more bronzer on because I am fairly pale skinned, so it was quite nice to do a bronzy kind of look. It's a bit out of the norm for me. Now I'm just blending all that out with um, a big powder brush. Next I'm applying Sun Basque Blush by MAC just onto sort of my cheekbone area, not so much on the apples of my cheeks. I'm blending it up in towards the temple a little bit as well. Now I'm applying NARS Orgasm Blush to the right onto my the top of my cheekbones to add a bit of a shimmery highlight. Now I'm applying Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. You only need a small amount of this. If you use too much, your eyeshadow will crease, so you only need a little bit. So I'm going to put that on both eyelids. Now I'm taking Champagne Eyeshadow by Prestige and I'm putting that all over the mobile lid. Just right up into that crease, but not over it. I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush for that too. Um, now I'm using Napoleon Purtis um, eyeshadow just as a brow highlight. Uh, it's got a bit of a gold shimmer to it in the right light, so it's really quite pretty and subtle. Now I'm using Cork by MAC as a crease colour and as a sort of a blending colour for the darker colour that I will be placing on top of it. Just blending it right into the crease and up sort of towards the brow and in towards the nose just to give that socket some depth. Now I'm applying the Inglot um, eyeshadow to the crease to darken it up, mostly to the outer third of the um, crease. And I'm blending that up towards the brow as well, but not too high, not as high as the cork. Now I'm using a shimmery white eyeshadow by BYS as a tear duct highlight. This really opens up the eyes and brightens them as well. And I tend to get really red around my eyes, so this sort of helps kind of cover it up a little bit. Now I've got Inglot Duraline, which is like a mixing medium, and I'm popping it onto the brush. And then I'm putting my brush into Celebration by Bella Pierre. It's a loose pigment and it's like a really nice gold colour. And the reason I use the Duraline is to give the shimmery, the glittery shimmery a bit more of a strong effect. It's called foiling. And then I use just the shimmer on its own without the foiling technique to blend it into the other colours slightly. Now I'm using NYX um, eye, uh, eyebrow powder to fill in any gaps in my brows and shape them a bit better. And my eyebrows tend to be a bit of an ashy colour like my natural hair colour so I find this gives them a nicer colour. I just follow my natural um, eyebrow shape, I don't try to do anything too extreme. This is a fairly wearable day look so I don't want to go too crazy. I'm just going to brush it out so it doesn't look too uh, manicured, I suppose. Now I'm applying Designer Brands Eyeshadow in Violet, just under my lower lashes, just for a small pop of colour. And it also goes really well with green eyes, so that's why I chose to use purple. Now 
Now I'm using a soft white eyeliner in my waterline to help neutralize that pinkness and to open my eyes up a little bit. Now I'm using a black eyeliner by BYS to tight line my top waterline and to help make my eyelashes look a bit thicker and more dense. Now next curl your lashes before applying any mascara. And now I'm going to use the primer side of the double extend mascara. This is really, really fantastic. It makes such a difference when applying mascara. So I highly recommend getting one like this. I use the Maybelline double XL mascara. Now I'm thinking I'm using um, Orchid Lip Pencil by Natio or Natio. It's the kind of a hot, deep pink color. I'm just going to line my natural lip line with that and fill it in as well. Now I'm applying Glow Lipstick by Natio. It's a really, really beautiful colour. And yes, it's difficult putting on lipstick with the lip ring, unless you're using a brush. Now I'm using a Pauline lip gloss. I can't remember the name of it. The stick has fallen off, but it's like an orangey shade. I think it's a lip plumping one as well. It has a funny tingle to it. Um, now I'm using the black mascara end of the Maybelline Double XL on the top and on the lower lashes as well. So that's the overall eye look. And there's the look completely overall. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please stay tuned for any more upcoming videos. And thank you so much for watching. Remember to rate, comment and subscribe. See ya.